Yep. Back out. Oh, nettles. Ah. Again. <laughs> it's a bit overgrown here. Oh, let's have a look here. Interesting little river. Oh, it's a rabbit. Lots of rabbits about. Yeah. So I'm out after work again. Just getting a bit of habit this Friday night camp. Why not, eh? Well, you can go out after work and you make the most of the light evenings. You might as well get a Friday and then you've got a whole of Saturday to decide what to do. And the weather's not meant to be very good tomorrow either. More rain. It's any fun being tent bound. At least if I'm van bound, if I'm stuck in the van, I've got a little um, gas cooker now. You know, one of them portable gas things. And I've got my iPad, I can watch watch a film or edit this video. So what I've done last week, just sat and edited the video, listening to the rain, it was good. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be in the van again. But for now, I'm back out in the Cheviots, nice and quiet. It's not bad weather, like, well, that, that cloud was, uh, it's just come over, but the sun was blazing, it was red hot. Amazing. Weather's weird, isn't it? It's, um, it's a bit windy, though, up, up on the high bits. Just coming over, I could see the trees blowing. So anyway, we'll push on. We'll come out where we'll come out. Should have been tripping and break my neck. Well, I'll never be the same again. I'm just walking along here, along this path here, seeing somebody coming towards us. I thought, he's got his shirt off with all these ferns and prickles and nettles. He's got his shirt, walk along with his shirt off. Oldish fella. To be fair, he's in really good shape. He had a six pack, everything. He's a lot older than me. And then, um, we only got a bit closer. He was bollock naked. <laughs> the naked rambler. Uh, I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't not look like. I was uh, a little bit taken aback. But hey, each to their own. Eh? If he's, I see he's keen walking through all this mound with all these ferns and everything. And he says he's covered in, um, covered in fly stuff. Repellent. Aye. You don't need to use repellent to repel me. I got out of the way. <laughs> Absolutely stark naked. <laughs> what a character. If you're watching this, fair play to you, like. No shame. Not bothered. Couldn't care less. Anyway, look, here we are. This is a lovely waterfall. Full spit. Look at that. Nice. Just jump in there now, I'm absolutely sweating. Didn't think I'd be sweating, I thought I'd be um, water on my waterproofs and everything. But the weather's totally changed again. Yeah, uh, look at that. Lovely. I'm gonna put my bag down, have a drink, and just take five. rain it's terrible it's boggy there's no path I really am in the middle of nowhere here like standing little 
pools of water. Good up there, and then crags. Look where I am though. <laughs> There's no path. There's absolutely no path. I've been here before. I came here maybe a couple of years ago, and the weather was terrible. I was in that go next tent. I was just trying that out, but it was awful weather. It was raining, wet, miserable. It's a bit better now, like, but. Still the ground soaked off all the rain. So I've just got to follow this fence up to the top. And then there's another summit. I'm not sure if it's over there. Because that's the hill I camped on last time. Watch Hill. And there's another one on the back of it I'm going to try. Which is called Fredden Hill. Fredden the Frog. Not Fredden, not Fredo. Fredden. So. I had my eye on that last time I was up here, but oh, the weather was awful. I just wanted to get in the tent. Put a bit more time now, like so. I'll get over onto it, see what it's like. But for now, this is really hard going. Why don't they make paths up here? Probably is, you know, it's probably a path just there. <laughs> Damn, super hilarious. Just oh, they're running off then, they stop and start and watch, and then they run off again. And yeah, let's have a look around. Big hills over there. I kind of for the life of us think what they are, hedge hope and achieve it. Achieve it's that one. Uh, this is Watch Hill, the top. Last time I came, I pitched about here, and it was a bit crap like, but I think I got a bit desperate, maybe it's here. So I'm gonna go over there. This is Fredden Hill, and uh, see if I can find the top of that. There's supposed to be a cairn up there. And then see if there's a pitch. Good here, like, not a soul about. You can do whatever you want. You can walk naked, everything. I, I broke myself, thought, oh, I'll have a walk naked because there's nobody about. And then I come around the corner, be like, why I? I kept my sunglasses on, like, <laughs> Whew, I'm glad there's a little breeze because the flies down the um, in among the trees oh they were horrendous loads of them flies mosquitoes midges everything so you've got the breeze here which is keeping them all off which is good so it's, a, it's, just, it's it's a breeze it's fine you know it's when it's wild it's no fun the bilberries these ones not so much but coming up they were all they were all ready to pick oh look they're really small tiny but they're ready oh look there's one there's a couple little bursts of vitamin c they're good if you walk along you can just come across a crop of them nice and juicy not much taste like but you know Right. All right, I'm just gonna look at the map because I think I'm going that way. But there's no path. There's... Same as that other place, no path. And there's just no paths up here. Like. It's probably why there's nobody here. That's Watch Hill over there. It's just a short uh, hop. I went through a bit of heather and then there was a quad track, so like, you know, and sheep tracks. So I just followed that. Uh, I came, it came out over there and then just come up here. And this is the top. Three, four, seven meters, and look, look at the views for three hundred and forty-seven meters. I mean, you know, it's amazing out here. You think the hills are going to be blocked by the other hills, and they're really not. You can see for miles the the Scottish borders over that way, that way. So that's all Scotland over there. Oh, it's chilly. I need to get my t-shirt changed because I'm a bit sweaty. But yeah, I'm just looking for somewhere to pitch around here. I have to have the back to the wind again, so I'll be looking out that way. Which is the sunrise direction, but I never see the sunrise in the summer. It comes up far too early. Right, so we'll get pitched anyway. Let's see where we end up.
up the story, man. Selling to the common man. Peel the skin and the So it's not too bad, it's just about perfect that breeze like not too windy enough to keep them away. And we've got a signal as well up here, middle of nowhere, and I've got a phone signal. Anyway, it's up. Gone up quite well. It's uh oh it's the best of a bad job. That is quite flat there. That footprint, it's dead handy being able to put that footprint down. Because you just peg that out, have a roller bar on it to see how level it is. It's fine for sleeping on. So yeah, it's a good idea that, that footprint's great, the way it detaches like that. I would always keep the three parts separate. I find it it's so easy to put that fly sheet on. You just stand at the back, stand with the wind behind you, all right? Grab the two straps, each hand, and you just lift it up and it just drops down onto the tent. <laughs> it's so easy, it's great. And then it just clips in, you just clip it in. Let's go around and fasten it all out. Loving this tent, like, really loving it. Anyway, so I'm all set up. There's my bar. I've caught that pretty good big wooden flipping chopping board. Because the plastic one was melting with the, um, with the stove on. Usual mess in there. Forgot my pillow. So I'll have to improvise. That's all right. I'll just, I'll just wrap me. Um, I've got the coat and something else I can use. Fancy forgetting my pillow. I've got my cooking stuff there. It's getting on late. Like I'll be cooking shortly. But yeah. And the, the weather's turned out lovely. Ooh. Spot on. So you've got so many hills out here. I can't really name them all. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of hills. You're not going to get bothered up here. That's Langley Crags over there. So that must be Hedgehope, a big one there. And then you go across here and it's Cheviot. Um, Oak Hope, Cairn. Can you just see it? Behind there will be the shill. Unless, unless that's the shill, I don't know. Big enough, I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's in the wrong way. I think the shill is over that way somewhere. Ah, I don't know. It might be. It might not be. Who knows? Who knows? Have a look on the map. That'll tell you. But it was two miles, two point something miles I came up here. And it wasn't too bad. The, the last time I came up, I, I kept on Watch Hill. And the weather was horrible. It was raining, it was windy. Just awful. I don't know what made us come out. And, uh, I'm just getting, oosh. I was exhausted as well, because, I don't know. I must be, I must be fitter now than I was then. So going back to um, the Northern Runner shop. That's the new boots they sent. Rocklight 345 GTX G grip, which means graphene. Ugh, sheep shite. There's loads of sheep shit up here. Graphene grip. Size 9, perfect fit. Nice, I suppose I'd get used to the colour. I prefer the other colour, but they're alright. They're a bit in your face, like, but you know. That's the bit that broke. I have a feeling it might go again, like. That was that one. That one came out. Just have to be careful, that's all. Don't pull it too tight. Oh, there's the beers. A couple of northern mugs. The thatches blood around. It's very nice, very refreshing. Faith in the tropics, heathen. And your juice foresight. Radio on. Radio 6 are playing all 90s rave music. It's been mint all day. Got me map. I'll have a look later where I was on the map. Yeah, but that's my view. Nice. Right, I'm gonna chill off this beer and I might think about starting to cook because it is quarter past eight. It's a late one tonight. Down with the pillows on. Nobody wanted to know what is in front of their nose. Down with the phone, told you so. Taming the ghost till I can't let go.
just died a death, didn't it? This big black cloud coming here. That's coming over here. That's coming over this way. Let's shut that vent at the back. Is the tea on anyway? But uh so cream. I'm gonna have some wraps. I'll just use the the metal tongs on the metal pan just to stress people out. You'll notice I'm not catching the pan with the tongs. I'm just simply moving it about. In the half you do, it's a it's a five pound frying pan with a handle knocked off. It doesn't really matter, it's not a really expensive one. I made the mistake of using expensive pans. Never again like. I'm sticking with five pound pans light enough. <sighs> yeah. One thing you'll know about the Cheviots is the Cheviot is a magnet for the bad weather. <laughs> it can be bright sunshine all around and there'll be a big massive bank of cloud on the Cheviot. It's because the highest the highest point in it, so it just attracts the cloud. Which is good because it means I stay dry. So I might shut this vent at the back here. I think this is what was letting the water in last week. This one. Just, just pull that, push it up there, and then close it. That should keep the water out. If any rain comes, I doubt whether it'll blow in there. It's not that windy. It should be all right. If it doesn't rain, I'll open it again. Right, I'm gonna get on with this. Got the sauce in, and the um, peppers and onions. Cream to put on. I don't want to open that yet because there's loads of things flying about. I might land in the cream. What I do is open them and just lay it on, lay it on there to warm it up a bit, and then I'll wrap it up and off I go. Gobble gobble. Yeah, somebody on Instagram mentioned I should have grated cheese. I normally do on these grated cheese, that's why I forgot. I forgot everything. I forgot everything. The sunset didn't get any better and um, the rain hasn't arrived. I think it is hanging on, the chief it's hanging on to the bad weather. So we'll get this down us. Do -de -do -de -de -de. Oh, that's a, that's a really sharp knife. It's sitting sharp now, like. Probably shouldn't have this up here. But it's a kitchen, so it's allowed. I need to put the wrap on the, um, just put it on the pan, lightly. And it will sort of uh, warm up a bit. And then just turn it over. And then, then what we do, get the sour cream, which has been bashed about. Anybody like sour cream? I don't mind, it's just like flavoured yogurt. It's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, bugger it. <laughs> All over my face. Handy wipe. I'll just turn this over. You see the soften up a bit, so you can wrap them a bit better. But these are the, um, you know, the, the the kits you get, the old El Paso kits. I didn't get that. Prefer to make me own, like, me own little twist on things. Oh, there's all kinds of noises up here. Like. Ah, in the van tomorrow. Hope it's better when it rains when you're in the van. It's nice. I've got a um, I've got a little top now that I put over the back door so I can have the doors open. Right there you go. And that's that's flexible enough now. So you put your mixture in. Dollop of cream. And 
right. Fold the bottom up and then wrap it across. Oh, I've made a right arse of it. I'm neat. I'm neat. M&M like he's a good rapper. He, <laughs> yeah. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> anyway, you get a picture. I'll do better on the next one. Nice. Come back later. Well, the wind's really picked up. Oh. About 20 mile an hour now. Still alright. 20's plenty. 20's plenty. That's it. That's a bit brighter than that. I'll tighten these side lines here. And that's about it. That's all I can do really. There's a light over there. It's rather close. Alright, so just tighten these lines and then have to ride it out. Right, I'll get on with that. I made a right pig of myself on them uh, furge eaters. Oh, there was enough for three people there, like, at the lot. I've got the meat sweats, the chicken sweats, everything. I'm gonna have this one last can and then I'm gonna take two back. I can't, I can't face any meat here. Ugh, what a gannet. Disgusting like. So I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna have this last can here. Just listen to the radio. Then I'm gonna get in. It's getting on for 11. Oh, it's good though. Oh. I'm not good. So, we're going in the van tomorrow. Um, I've got a few exciting things happening with the van, but that's on a different channel. And what's about it really? I'm just trying to get, just trying to get the camps in, just to keep me, um, just keep me handy. You know what I mean? I got a little bit of health fitness back because it only took us like an hour to come up here today. It took us about two hours the last time I came, I was absolutely exhausted the last time I came up here. Well, it was a couple of years ago, like. But there's not much to see out there. Uh, just watching a bit of air. Oh, I wonder if anybody catches them yawns. Just watching a bit of YouTube there. There's a couple of couple of channels, um, a couple of channels that I like watching. It's miles from anywhere. Anybody wants to go and watch some good videography, like, it's better than my videos. He puts a lot of effort in, you know, Dave Miles. It's called Miles from Anywhere. And he's just started uploading again. And he gets into some... Well, uh, let's just say he puts the effort in. More than what I do. I just throw them together. Just a pan of chicken and a couple of beers. And then that's it. Back out. And all the rest of it. But no, it's good, Dave. Like, I'm glad he started uploading again. Needs more subs, though. You're missing out by not looking at his channel. Pure camping. He can see his gear and he's got he's got drone foot. He's got a drone footage and all the rest of it. He's he's drone piloting's kind of good. Like, Aye. so I'm gonna sleep with my head that end because down the bottom end here I'm in a bit of a bit of a dip. Just down here in the corner, it's a bit of a it's dipping down a bit. So yeah, that's it. I'm just talking rubbish now. I wonder if. Uh, Billy Bollocks made it back without scratching his nadges. <laughs> the naked rambler. What the hell? <laughs> Can't believe that. I can't believe I should have filmed him, shouldn't I? I couldn't do it, like I'd get banned. I don't think YouTube allows nudity. Because he was absolutely stark as like. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Thought I was seeing things. But anyway, right, so I'm going to turn off now. Have this radio back on. Clear the creatures out, because I'm sitting with the door wide open, like. Clear the creatures out. I'll put this light on orange as well. It goes on this 
ambient glow there. That's quite relaxing. It pulses like... Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It's a lot of this free stuff I'm getting now. It's, it's bloody good stuff, like, it's good quality. Anyway, right, we'll see you later. Morning camp stars. Look at this. What a mess. I'm really messy, man. But you know. Oh, have a look at this with here. The clarity of the air is amazing. It was raining before. I think all that rain is over there now. The wind's blowing it all away. It's about 20, 24 mile an hour this. Had the vent closed, no water came in. Boosh. Told you. Go dry in there, and that was quite heavy that rain at one point. Look how clear it is, it's lovely. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is get the kettle on, make a nice cup of, and then head off that way first and then over the back of there down that way just back the way I came because the path the actual path goes right down into that valley there which is miles away from where I want to be I want to be over there and that goes a good few miles away from where I want to be so let's get back in Ugh. Ooh, God, it's, uh, it's quite cold that wind Blimey. Be a um, westerly, northwesterly wind, I think. Oh, that's freezing. Nah, not northwesterly. Southwesterly. But it's cold, man. God. Oh. Hey, right, where are we? Where's my kettle? There's my kettle. I'll sort that out. <laughs> Alright, morning camp. Oh, I've said that. That's where I was. Not bad. Probably the only pitch here. So I'm heading off that way now into the rain. The rain started just as I was packing away. So it's only a little light drizzle at the minute, but look at that. It's coming over like. So no time to linger. And as the great Jimmy Neil once said, Wine, beer and spirits all the time. And though you're here, she's always on my mind. Crocodile shoes. What was he on about? All right, we'll see you on the next one. Cause I'm gonna run here. Just my final words of wisdom. I just come down that bloody, oh, terrible path. You're bashing all through the heather and the, uh, the bilberries, no path like, and you've got to be careful where you put your feet because it's very wet and boggy, and you can just go in. Oh. So, just be careful walking in the Cheviots, it's not a friendly place. <laughs> There's no paths, it's like it's not like the lakes, but this is the nice bit. Now, I'm down, I go down here. And then along there, follow the river, back to the van. Very good, very nice. So, if you've enjoyed this video, pop up your thumb. If you haven't enjoyed it, pop down your thumb. If you're a thumb popper downer, put in the comments why. Day, <laughs> a day. But I know what you want. 
anyway so from the Cheviots we'll say farewell for now we're gonna have a nice night in the van tonight I'm gonna go to Bambra and buy some lovely stuff from the butchers to fry up later very unhealthy but by god it's tasty and while I'm there I'll visit the grandparents grave to say hello because that's what I do that is what I do right catch you later